Hi allemaal, Reini here and today I'm here together with Colom, hi, and I'm the policy lead at Volt and one of the co-founders. So Colom, um, how long have you been active in Volt? From the start, but how long ago is that now? So we co-founded Volt uh, two years and three months ago. And, so, and then the first year we just worked on it with Andrea, Damien and a few other people. And then we launched a year and four months ago, officially, and hundreds of people started joining us from the very start. Okay, and how did you, how do you find the experience so far? What do you like most about it? Wow, that's a big question. <laughs> so the experience in itself is amazing. And what do I like most about it? I think it's seeing people who tell me that they have actually never been active and, and who often at first lacked the self-confidence to become active in the movement and make sure that they could contribute to their communities to come in and you just see them evolve. And suddenly, you know, they take the lead, they start organizing events, reaching out to communities, drafting policies. And you see these people within three months just change completely. It's amazing. Yes, I can, I can vouch. I've seen the same thing happen in the Netherlands. And that's one of the things I like most as well. So the question everybody, everybody will probably always ask you, but I'm going to ask it again, is yeah. how did you come up with this genius idea? So I did, and Tom I did. <laughs> Let's give the credits to those who deserve it. Um, so Andrea and I were on the phone the day of Brexit. Um, I was back then living in the US and I was planning to move back to the UK. I studied in the UK um, and I was half crying, half very pissed and um, thinking that you know, my little life was over or whatever. And he told me, how about you stop complaining and actually do something, which really pissed me off more at the moment. <laughs> but okay. then um, kind of triggered me. Um, and on the hair, the credit is his here. I started working on it on his own for a few months and then I started helping and then Damien came in and started helping, but he had the idea. Okay, okay, cool. And um, so you said you are the policy lead. Uh, what does the policy lead do? Take care of the policies. So, we, <laughs> so you know, both is structured at two levels. The European level, so both Europa, uh, which gives guidelines also linked to policies and politics, to our national associations. The reason for this is to make sure that both Netherlands is coherent with both France and French, um, and that we don't directly contradict one another, um, but that we go forward in a coherent manner. So my role as the, at the European level is to facilitate the development of policies. Um, so we now have 191 pages of policies. It's way too long, we're summarizing it. Um, to develop it uh, so that, that we have um, content to put forward and that people know why they're joining votes. Uh -huh. And then to yes. facilitate national teams in developing it. So in new, in new circumstances, new policy, which is amazing, yeah. um, is adapting the content and making it relevant to the Netherlands. Okay, okay, great. Well, uh, well summarized. Thank you very much. A bit and long, but... <laughs> no, no, but it's good to know, to know the details. So, um, one last question before we finish up is um, we are going to have a general assembly at the end of October. Um, and the, it will be an important moment for yeah. our policy. What will happen there and why is it important? So, it's actually quite important and it's very groundbreaking. So, we will adopt, hopefully adopt, the Amsterdam Declaration, very original. It will be in Amsterdam, the Amsterdam Declaration. I like the name, I must yeah. say. <laughs> I mean, clearly there's a lack of creativity in the <laughs> policy team. And it will be one campaign document uh, that we will use to campaign across Europe. So it will be our program, and we will campaign on one program in more than seven countries. It's never really been done. Um, so we are finalizing it right now with the teams, and we will vote on it, adopt it, and make it public in Amsterdam. So it's very exciting. Okay, I'm very much looking forward to that. And this is also a shout out to everyone who's considering to come to the Amsterdam Declaration. We have a beautiful location, the Tropen Museum, and uh, I hope to see you there. Colomb and I will definitely be there. Thanks for a short interview. No worries. And join us before as well. You'll be able to participate in the drafting and to help the Dutch team in doing so. Exactly. So thanks a lot. Have see a good you day. Around. Bye.